Today I'll show you a honeycomb brioche stitch, which is knit easily, consisting of four rows only. Actually, it's only two different rows being offset once. You need a number of stitches divisible by two, and I start the first row on right side with an edge stitch and knit one. The second stitch is knit deeper. Hmm, I don't know if this is the right term. So if you knit it deeper, that means you plunge your needle into the hole beneath the stitch. Always repeat, knit one, knit one deeper. Repeat to the end of the row, knit one, knit one deep, knit one, knit one deep. And I end the row with an edge stitch. In this case, I always knit the edge stitches. This was the first row of the pattern. Second row, knit the edge stitch. Now the first stitch has a yarn in front from the deep knitting and you need to knit this stitch together with its yarn in front. So there's a longer piece of yarn in front of the stitch. Knit this together with the first stitch. You see it here. Knit the next stitch and knit the next stitch together with its yarn in front. And don't mix it up with a tight loop at the base of the stitch that formed the stitch. So you take the long one and knit it together with a stitch. Next stitch knit, next stitch knit together. Repeat that to the end of the row. So this was the second row of the pattern. Next row, third row, is the same as first row, but offset one stitch. So third row, edge stitch. Now you start with knit deep, knit, knit deep, knit, knit deep, knit. You can remember that uh, you see that every second stitch has a double loop at the base. This one is knit, and the one with a single loop at the base is knit deep. So same as first row, but offset one stitch. Fourth row, same as second row but offset as well. Knit the edge stitch. Knit the first stitch. Second stitch knit together with its loop in front. Knit, knit together. Knit, knit together with yarn in front. Always repeat to the end of the row. 
And as usual with brioche stitches, you need some 10 to 12 rows until the pattern evolves. So the pattern will not show before you knitted a few rows. So end of fourth row and now repeat rows one to four. So not much to see after four rows. And that's how the honeycomb brioche will look like.